Hello everyone and welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Steve and today I'm going to do an overview on this product from Wowie. This is the RoboMe. So a quick look at the front of the box before I open it up. Uh, first off, Wowie has several different departments. This particular toy comes from the robotics department. Uh, a couple key features, it has a remote visual telepresence uh, as well as a fully programmable remote uh, and customizable face and personality. Uh, a couple more things, this particular toy is meant for children ages 8 and older. You will need to have some batteries because they're not included. Uh, first and foremost, you're going to need three AAA batteries for the remote control and it looks like four C batteries for the robot itself. Let me flip to the back real quick and show you a couple more things. Uh, the app features, by the way, it does currently support iOS, uh, but as far as I've seen so far, uh, nothing else. Uh, but besides that, uh, more about the remote visual telepresence. Essentially, you'll be able to see what it sees and hear what it hears uh, via your, your other devices uh, that you can connect into with it, as well as some sensor, sensor customization. You'll be able to make him uh, spin around three times whenever he detects a wall or make him dance every time he shakes someone's hand. Uh, voice commands, they'll be able to, he'll be able to interact with them via your voice and he'll be able to recognize what you say. Uh, also the customizable facial features, and here's a couple examples of different faces you can pick for him. Uh, if I want to, I want to describe a little bit more about the robotics down here below. Uh, in terms of those features, he's got a personality, so he basically will comment on things around him and interact with his environment as well as greeting new people. Uh, it's got advanced sensors and detection, so he'll be able to detect objects uh, as well as movement and ledges. Uh, he'll be able to uh, be set in an, an autonomous mode that basically allows him to navigate his environment. Uh, beyond that, he has an LED face and mood indicator, which basically means he'll be able to display emoticons to you uh, as well as, as display his emotion while he talks. Uh, multiple robotic modes, you'll be able to use the remote control uh, to activate different modes uh, such as guard mode as well as three separate games or you can just set him in drive mode uh, and he'll just basically roam around. Oh, in roam mode, excuse me. He will roam in roam mode. Oh, big surprise there. But let's go ahead and open up the box and take a closer look. Okay, other than the robot itself, there's actually a little bit of paperwork here. Uh, specifically, the manuals comes in a couple different languages, but I just want to show you guys how it looks once you open up the manual and get an idea of what's inside. Uh, so, you know, just to give you an idea, you do need those 4C batteries, and I'll show you the compartments of where they go, as well as the anatomy of uh, the robot itself, and a brief descri description of all the different modes that, uh, that this particular robot can be put into. Uh, and whatnot. So I'm just going to put this off to the side here and continue on with uh, the robot and the remote. I guess I could probably show you both simultaneously, but let me start with the, uh, the remote here. It's an infrared based remote. There's the sensor and it actually transmits to uh, a sensor here, a reader here on the front of the robot and also one on top. I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, but a couple different buttons all the way around. Uh, starting here, we have the uh, L3 button, which is technically no, it's an X. Uh, L2, that's a yes. Uh, the games button, that's L1, that basically allows you to put it in games mode and let the robot talk you into a couple different types of games. Uh, you've got demo, guard, and roaming modes. Uh, then of course you have this uh, D button here that allows you to go in uh, front backwards and spin left or spin right, uh, as well as a, a voice command button here. I'll actually demo that in just a moment. And these two buttons actually tilt the head of the robot or actually the cradle that would hold the phone or iOS based device kind of backwards and forwards like that. Uh, so let's talk about the robot. So you've got uh, essentially what would be the head of the robot here. Uh, this has a series of LEDs in it and uh, it does talk and it does communicate with you. Uh, but beyond that, the other LED reader is actually on the back. So regardless of which direction the robot's facing, it's going to read from the remote control that comes with it. Uh, since I am back here, I'll, I'll show you a couple things along the side. The very, very small button right here, if I push that button, it actually pops the cradle wide so that you can put uh, an iOS device in there and slap it back down closed again. Uh, this uh, has two arms and they also bend at the elbows. Uh, only thing is that the sensor is in the left one, or I guess it would be his right, and that would be when you shake hands with it. So if you're shaking hands with this one, it doesn't actually register. It only registers with this one. Uh, and let's see, there's also uh, a small LED behind the belt here, and that actually changes color depending on the robot's mood. So green being happy, for instance, or, or red being angry. And that would be if you, uh, you, know, you can taunt the robot and you can get upset. 
Uh, I'll show you that in just a moment too. Uh, two wheels for the robot here, and that's actually how it would turn itself as well as roll forwards or backwards. Uh, I'll show you the base here. And you see these two screws, you'd actually remove those to get access to two of the four C batteries that are required for this robot. On off switch here, a little tail wheel here to allow it to turn more easily. Flip that around to the back and show you there are two more screws to remove that final panel to uh, access the, the last battery compartment, giving you access to two more C batteries. Uh, up in the upper portion, there's a little clip here I can clip and pull out. This actually uh, is a small uh, analog connector to allow you to connect your phone or, or I guess it would be iPod Touch, uh, both fourth generation at a minimum uh, as well as iOS 6 in order to operate this robot. So let's go ahead and play with it. All right, guys, let me just turn this on for you real quick. Put this down. Reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Rover Me. Uh, let me see if I can put it in roam mode. Let's have a look around this place. This is great exercise for my servo. And he has edge detection, so if he comes to an edge, thank God he stopped and didn't fall off of it. He should go around this table and kind of figure out where he can go. And then after a while, he actually stops and, and starts to want to interact with you. But right now he's in roam mode, so let's see if I can flip around. I just put him in guard mode, which I think just means he's going to try and fight me. I think I found something. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it to do something else here. What is this? Uh, is this supposed to be here? Okay, that didn't work danger, because danger. <laughs> because it's in guard mode and it registers something close to it in here. Let me see if I can put it in demo mode. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can ask hey, it some games. You play follow the leader? No. Shake my hand. Okay, this I can do. Nice. All right. Um, let's see if I can do a voice command. Uh, Want to try again? Actually, I can't do voice commands because it actually needs the phone for that. But I am going to use the remote to just kind of make it uh, back out. up and move around. Move it or lose it. So he'll just keep talking while I do this and make different sound effects. I can tilt the head like I was mentioning before. But let's go ahead and hook up uh, an iOS device and see what more functionality we can get out of it. Okay, so I've installed the uh, RoboMe app. Uh, there's actually two. There's one for RoboMe and there's also a remote control. I've installed uh, the remote control on this one and the RoboMe app on this one. Uh, plugged in the iPhone in here and pretty much gotten made a login. Uh, that basically allows you to interconnect with other versions of it and also use the video part of the app, the, uh, the remote connection part. But I'm just going to connect in to that app right now. Now it's currently connected. And what I can do is a couple different things. I can, I can do the normal remote control movements that you see there. I can also do, uh, let's see, let's do the video version. So it took a little bit, but uh, it did eventually connect to it. And actually, uh, it's currently muted, too, because we'll get a lot of back feed. I can actually talk from this microphone and let it come out of the speakers over here and vice versa, go through this microphone back out again. So you can kind of do a little, uh, a little, a little connection between people and talk to them like that. Uh, maybe I'll do that in a little bit if I can bother Joanne. Uh, so essentially, you can see you have, you have a very small um, uh, uh, kind of camera showing what you'd be seeing right here, and it shows you that obviously bigger over here. So, kind of makes sense, right? And then on top of that, I can also move the, the robot around while he's connected, so you can go and troll people a little bit with that if you want to. I'm gonna actually back it out again to show you more of the customization that's, that's actually available for the robot while it's connected like this. So give me a sec here and I'll show you in real close. Uh, let's see, for instance, you can actually take the robot itself and change the entire theme around to something else. Uh, so I could pick this cartoon male, for instance. And he has... How does my breath smell? <laughs> hey. Different interaction areas where I can tap. You, if you notice there, he got red. Well, you couldn't actually. At the bottom, the LED got red for a moment, just hey. showing that he doesn't like that, um, which is pretty obvious. I wouldn't like being poked in the eye either. But you can customize further, pick different eye sets, eyebrow sets, um, different... Uh, you know, facial hair, 
we'll probably go with this one. You can also do a, a superhero mode and change the different types of superheroes over to, I guess, a ninja, let's say, for instance. So I just brought up the customized triggers, and essentially what you can get here is a, a series of different triggers to do different events, right? So, uh, for instance, whenever you ask what the robot's name is, I have a voice trigger for that. Uh, actually, let's just make a new one so I can show you the different options. So when it finds uh, an edge of a table or something like that, when something is in front of its chest, uh, when you try to do a handshake, or when you make it flinch, which is trying to you know, hit it, possibly. Uh, also, when the battery runs out, you can make a different event for each one of those. Uh, then if I hit the left button, the L1 button, the L2 button, the L3 button, uh, any of the other buttons, I can have a pre-selected um, uh, event to start out with. Uh, if you touch his eyes, his mouth, or his nose, uh, what's some other options here? 15 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, or every two minutes, have him do something. Uh, let me slide that over because it looks like there's one more option. Two more, actually. Three minutes and then five minutes. And then, of course, the, the voice command. So you could drag this in here and then type what to listen for. So if I say, hi, click the next arrow, I make him uh, play a file. Uh, and I can select an audio file. Here's all the stuff that comes preloaded. You can also record your own files and allow him to say something specific. Uh, so I'll make him say, yippee. Yippee! And go back and double check. Actually, I don't think I actually selected that. There we go. So now let's just do a quick test of that uh, voice trigger. And I'll click this button here, the start voice activation. Hi. Hi. Yippee! And it works, which is amazing. Um, also, there's other voice triggers in here. How are you? Paul is a nice man. He doesn't touch robots inappropriately ever. <laughs> All right. so. That was text-to-speech, and as you heard, it's pretty difficult to understand what it is, but it's another example of what else you can do with it. Uh, also, I, I think I made a custom one for this. Oh, huh, it's really nice to meet you. That was a voice recording of Joanne, so essentially you could set up your own voice recordings as well as using any of the ones that are pre-recorded inside. You have a couple other settings here. I can turn, turn up the volume or turn it down. I can turn off edge detection or the, ch the chest sensor, uh, different languages. Uh, as well as the personality types, you can go in and reset them or change the personality to an all new one. Uh, since I have my login, I can actually clear out my login details. Uh, and currently the version is 1.32 in case you try this at home and some functionality has been added. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to click the like button. If you haven't already done so, click subscribe to any of our various YouTube channels. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>